Hello everyone, uh, welcome to a new series here on YouTube and on Twitch, though this particular episode is not uh, being streamed live, this one's just a recording, this is kind of a test, so if you see this on YouTube, hey, hi, hello, um, obviously I liked it and I want to uh, continue it. We are playing, as you can see, an NBA game, it is NBA 2K21. Uh, which is in this stack of shit that's sitting next to me. Um, and I bought the game. It was on sale. Um, so I picked it up for like $30 because I thought, hey, that's a good price. And I'm not super concerned about the next gen version of it at the moment. Because I don't know if or when I'm going to get an Xbox One or an Xbox Series X or a uh, PlayStation 5. Couldn't remember what came after 4 there for a moment. So I just got the regular vanilla Xbox One uh, version in it and I've been tinkering around with like what I want to do it has a a uh, single player mode in it that I was thinking about trying out kind of like the the Madden one um, and I'd like to try both of those modes maybe sometime in the future um, but what I thought I would do uh, what I thought I could do at least was play a franchise mode uh, but that's a lot of game to play and as we've seen with the Mariner season that I tried to do in 2019 or 2020 excuse me and 2017 actually um I didn't get super far in it um though I'm sure I'll try again this year because it sounds like a good idea uh but I wanted to try it that in this game but I wanted to try it in a kind of weird and hopefully different and interesting way so basically we're going to start a my league and we're going to use the current 30 NBA teams, uh, and then we're going to start in the regular season, but we're going to go here to setup options, and we're going to turn the quarter length down to one minute. Simulated quarter length, one minute. We're not going to normalize this played to sim minutes or stats or anything, no fantasy draft, um, none of that stuff. Playoff length, we'll do... We'll do five for the quarters and semis, and then seven for the conference and NBA finals. Uh, bookmark that for when this goes horribly wrong and I lose when I could have used more games. So just keep that in. <laughs> keep that in mind. Um, features, automatic league expansion, uh, sure, great. I wonder, I should probably turn the team chemistry off because it might be too frantic and that might not help. Um... Eh, I'll leave it on. It's fine. Whatever. Uh, we'll just leave all this stuff, I guess. Cool. Great. Trades. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Injuries. Yeah. Progression. In-season training. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, I'm going to just play on pro because I'm not particularly good at this game, as you'll see on the defensive side specifically. Not that great. If it does start to... Well, it's fine. If it does start to become too easy, I'll, I'll, I'll bump it up if need be. Uh, fatigue, team pace, it's fine. Auto save on 82 games. We'll save the settings. New My League settings. Uh, and I'll save this under uh, Pacers. Uh, and I'm using the Indiana Pacers because... Um, because what I want to do... Or because uh, when I was a younger kid... Uh, we had NBA courtside starring Kobe Bryant, and uh, the Pacers were the team that was closest to the Packers that I could get. So I used them a bunch, uh, and now I they are the indie, they are the NBA team of choice for me. I don't have a, like a wild allegiance to anything. I just like the team because it's that for that reason. Um, I'm pretty sure when I was a kid I would call them the Indiana Packers. Just so, you know, I could I could do that. Because basically, everything from sports originates from Green Bay. It's like, it's, if it's close. Or, I grew up in the area with the Washington State Cougars. Um, all of this, I guess, can be manual. I don't... Sure. I don't... Eh, I probably shouldn't worry about that. Just let it go. Alright. Um, so, we'll, we'll go ahead and auto-generate the rookies... I know that this game's kind of weird because of the season, because of the, the whole uh, 2020 just being an absolute fucking nightmare. Um, so it's, it's a little odd. I th you can load or download a draft class. I'm not super concerned with that. I would kind of guess that 2K would just make rookies that are close enough, I suppose. Eh, you know what? Screw it. Let's load and download a class. 
real quick. Uh, this will probably be the longest episode of the whole thing. User created draft cat class 2021, 2020. Cole Anthony. I don't know who. Oh boy. Um. Um. Real players. I don't never. You know what? You know what? Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. We're just gonna auto generate the rookies. I don't want to goof anything up. So here's what we'll do. Uh, we will just simulate through the date, and we will play game number one here against the Miami Heat. So I am Victor Oladipo and the Indiana Pacers. Uh, just like at full disclosure, I guess it feels weird to put that in quotes, but. Full disclosure, I have played a couple of games with this Pacers team, so I know a little bit about them, but I'm not super great at the game. Um, so I think this uh, I think this should be fun. Our team chemistry is only a 59%, uh, and I'm going to make sure that I just go to the edit lineups while this loads, because I don't know if you should be streaming or recording the 2K TV. I don't know why they would have a problem with that, but at the same time, whatever. I don't know. So here we go. We will ready up and then just let it load. The 2K TV thing is really weird. I don't, I'm not a super big fan of it. I'll, I'll be honest. I'll see you at the tip. 2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. And those are the starting lineups. Lots of interesting matchups tonight. Stick around. We'll be right back with more. Welcome, everybody, to the day we've all been looking forward to. The start of a new NBA season on 2K Sports. Alongside Craig Anthony and Steve Smith with David Aldridge on the sideline, this is Kevin Harlan. And here's the upcoming schedule for the Heat. On Sunday, they'll be taking on Jonas Valanciunas and the Memphis Grizzlies. And then on Wednesday, they'll take on Chris Middleton and the Milwaukee Bucks. And as things get ready to roll, let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's on the sideline. David? Hey, Kevin. Well, the big man, DeMontis Sabonis, is following in his father's Hall of Fame footsteps. We all remember what Arvita Sabonis looked like when he was healthy, both in Russia and when he came over to the NBA. Domas watched his dad play with the Blazers and dreamed of becoming an NBA player in his own right. Well, he's arrived. Last season, DeMontis became a first-time All-Star, and he's certainly doing his dad proud. Kevin? He sure is. Thanks, David. Greg, you played over a decade in the NBA. Is there an opening day that you remember most that sticks out in your mind? No doubt. The, the, the very first time I put on that Knicks jersey, you know, your rookie year, uh, the game was in Orlando. I got to play 28 minutes, which was a lot for a rookie back then, especially on a really good team. And uh, it was an awesome experience. That was a moment you had dreamt of your entire life if you grew up wanting to play basketball, man. And I was pumped. That's a great All right, story. here we go. Let's here we go. Indiana's starting lineup. Under a minute to go here Depot, in the first the quarter. Who is this? Who is this? Drog it, uh, Drog it. Ooh, Ooh, I left the, the lane wide open. Ah, uh, this is all a mess. Jimmy Butler wide open for three. That was a mistake. That's all right. I did not mean to throw that there. I wanted to throw it up the court. All right, kick it back out. I don't know if Sabonis can shoot threes. Let's find out together. Ooh, rimmed out. No good. All right, here we go. Brogdon. It's going to be like more, oh, good lord. Good lord, that was awful. Okay, Oladipo. Thanks, Adebayo. I appreciate you leaving me wide open for that. Hell yeah. Okay, 2 nothing. Floor awareness from Sabonis, capable of finding his guys oh, Jimmy Butler. Don't do that, sir. Please, just leave my Butler against Holiday. team alone. And oh, we're going to hold for the final shot. For three. Oh, not for three. Here's All right, there we go. First quarter's complete. And that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. Oh, would it have really counted? I, okay. Still a close game. Indiana out in front. They're up by two. Back after this from the American Airlines Arena. Venom. 
I don't know exactly what kind of yeah, commentary you're game. expecting or going to get from me. Things pretty even so far in the scoreboard. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from the Pacers? <laughs> it's a two nothing on game. The defensive end in that first quarter, they were just getting up into people. Yeah, they were very physical and very aggressive. They have just been the better team so far. Okay, that's fine. And here's oh, Indiana, LT, and go under. Home for the next there we go. Oh the my God, I released that late. That game is God the dang first it, that and sucks. Last of their homestead. Myers Leonard is out there with Igudala. Then there's Drogic. Okay. Then Connell. Oh, God. And you ever break your own spot. ankles? So that's who uh, I don't know who I'm supposed to be with. guarding. Drogic. And it's All right. Good. Drogic on the board. 4-2 here. Drogic plays with. See if we can get oh, ahead of Olenek. Here's there we go. There we go. Push the court. Push the push the pace, I should say, a little bit. A like this. All right. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. This is a oh no! Group. They feed off one another's energy. Uh, Sabonis was not who I wanted to throw that ball to. Um, what, do, what do I have? Some nerve Oops, passes X. to McConnell. Wait, do I have subs in? It's it's sixty seconds. Here's Sampson. He's covered by Igudala. Pass to Sampson. Uh, Five on the clock. Uh, well. Over Igudala. That was a terrible shot. Uh, I was at the buzzer. Sabonis. That was late. That I was very lucky to make that. All right, eight two here. Sabonis gives it's a good start. It's a good start for the Pacers. Line. I cannot wait for this. Ooh, hoo -hoo. can't wait for this so to fall it's apart. The Indiana Pacers with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter, and it's been their rugged defense setting the tone. Back to the action after this word. It's the Two K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, everybody. We've reached halftime of our first regular season game. I'm swimming. I thought you thought maybe the first half was going swimmingly. <laughs> Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet. Shaquille. For the Pacers, the first quarter was pretty even. Their field goal percentage was a robust 50% in the period. That's something they can hang their hat on. Taking a look at the Pacers, Kenny, how'd you see it? Well, I have to point to their efficiency on the offensive end as a key for them. The way they've been moving the ball and finding the open man, that's been super impressive. They don't need to change a thing, Ernie. At this point, just keep playing smart basketball. And over to Shaq. What do you think about Miami? Interior scoring has not been a priority for them. They'd be in a much better shape if they run a more balanced offense. That would make them a harder team to defend, especially in the second half. <laughs> And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter set to begin in just a few. Uh, hopefully that doesn't get copyright claimed, but I guess we'll find out together. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed. I also probably came back a little early with the microphone and the thing. Oh, okay, that's fine. That's fine. All right, again, kind of a test episode, so trial run, if you will. But I wanted to, six, A, see how long it was going to be, but also, oops, also wanted to uh, kind of work out the kinks. The the right I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, Oladipo. Oh, I did that. That was awful. That was awful. I thought I was going to pass Oladipo, and I did not. Dang it. All right, six-point lead in the Brogdon. third quarter. Switch to Brogdon here. Hero passes to Butler. Butler? Ah, yeah, you don't give two, sh three shots for Jimmy Butler. What are you doing? They're gonna take all the third quarter time. All right, there we go. There we go. That was a bad pass. It's Turner high post. Lot of bio on him. Sabonis. No, throw it out. Oladipo, got it up. And he was able to put it up in time, but doesn't fall. I was not paying so enough attention Indiana, to the clock there. Their lead standing at six All right, so there's the end of the quarter. They have made this it is, very tough uh, to get a shot off against chaos. them. Their defense has oh, I love it. Right back <laughs> after scored this any break. points? <laughs> While we have the chance now, folks, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. 
Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. This is why you preach teamwork. Some of the most spectacular plays. All right, are the six points. I got to hold on for 60 seconds here. Another. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. This has reached desperation time for him. For them to have a chance, oh, oh, everything oh, has I'm to on go Olenek right on, on down low. From this point on. In the middle, it's Olenek and Adebayo. Oh, I went up, I went up. That's all right, that's all right. I'll take that, I'll take that. We might have to hit some free throws here down the stretch. Yeah. Shoot, do I have good free throw shooters on the court? I don't know. Oh, no, I forgot about that aspect of the game. A chance here to possibly put it out of reach. This is when you really need to maintain your focus. Okay. They, for some reason, they fouled real quick. Outside Holiday passes to McDermott. Oh, that was not what I wanted. Uh, that was also not what I wanted. That's okay. That's okay. We're all right. We're okay. Butler's coming down the lane. Dear God. Okay. Well, shoot. And he has brought them to within two points. That is world class. Incredible shot with everything on the line coming through for his team. Time called here. Indiana decides to talk it over. They lead by two. There's 18 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Why in the world? Well, wait, don't do that. I'm sorry, Holiday. Why is Victor Oladipo not on the floor? And now, a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Yamanis Sabonis. <laughs> and he's provided them with a it might be a little early for that. that Two points, one for three field goals. I don't know why that's going through so quickly. In the paint. But it and is. If All right. Else has worked, he, he's given them a no! option on every possession. That's just being out of sync and at the worst time, costly. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. There's 18 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, your thoughts? And they've got plenty of time to get a basket. I, I'm curious to see uh, will they go for a two to tie I was or a three to win trying it Trying to get it to Oladipo, and I didn't key it in fast enough. What a dummy. What a dumb play. Oh, my. Remember when I had a six-point lead at the beginning of the fourth quarter? And it is all but a vapor. Oh, no. I have left a wide open. Sabonis, for the love of God, you slow man. All right. 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 Okay. We can do this. We can do this. We're going to hold for the final shot. God dang it. Terrific look. And the Pacers call time here. All right. Out of timeouts. Turner's checking in. I'm Oladipo. Oladipo taking his time here. There it is. There it is. There it is. All right. This is exciting. I'm really surprised that I was able to get around that defender. They're trailing by two. Five seconds left in the fourth quarter. What do you think, guys? I don't think they should be greedy here and think about a triple. With this much time left, I'd attack the basket, get a high percentage shot in tight, and take my chances in overtime. All right. See so what we can do here. We want to get a stop, obviously. Here's Dragic. Uh, I'm going to just kind of hold on Sabonis over here. For, no, no, no. Oh. Oh, that was close. Oh, my God. All right. Well, Indiana takes it by a score of 10 to 8. Woo. Really an accomplishment and crazy finish to take a road game like this and simply deflate an entire building. And that will wrap it up, folks. For Steve Smith, Craig Anthony, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan thanking you for tuning in. See you next time. Well, that's awesome. Okay, cool. I'll, I'll take a victory. I wasn't sure if there was like a, an outro there or not, like a post-game. Post-game, that's what I was, was thinking of. I, I wasn't 100% sure about that. But All right. A 10-8 to victory in the first game of the season. Cool. So we can simulate through. And then I guess we could probably just simulate through these three days. 
And now we are on December 6th, and we'll see you next time for Indiana at home against the Detroit Pistons. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this uh, this show that probably when I post this will hopefully have a name. Oh, good. The, the other scores are wrong, too. Oh, my God. That's awesome. Oh, I'm so excited about this. This is fantastic. Uh, you can catch us live over on twitch.tv slash Rex whenever it premieres. I'm not exactly sure when it's going to go. Um, but you can catch it every Sunday. Tuesday. Nope. Sunday. Monday. Uh, Wednesday. Thursday. And Friday. Uh, over on YouTube. They're short little videos. They'll go up 6 p.m. Pacific time. Um, thank you for watching. I'm very excited about this. I thought this was a dumb idea, and I wasn't 100% sure how much I was going to like it. Big fan. Big fan of it so far. So we'll see you next time for Indiana taking on Detroit at home, a team that we will see a couple of times in the next couple of days. See you next time.